Maria Barantini, Pastoral Associate of Children's Catechesis at Prince of Peace. Advent begins on November 29th this year, and Advent is my favorite liturgical season. I love the joyful anticipation for four weeks before Christmas. I love watching the Advent wreath being lit at church each and every week, a new candle being lit. Normally, we hold an event at our parish called Advent Night to help families prepare their Advent wreaths, but this year, we're unable to hold that event. This video will share some information about Advent and how you can celebrate Advent at home with your family. Ad Advent comes from the Latin word Adventus, which means a coming, approach, or arrival. When we talk about Advent in the church, it refers to the four Sundays prior to Christmas. It's a time of turning away from sin and hopeful, joyous preparation for the coming of the Savior. Advent is a time to pray, a time to wait, and a time to hope. There are a number of ways you can celebrate Advent with your family. You can get an Advent wreath for your family. These consist of four candles, three purple, and one rose. Set into a circular wreath. The wreath is a circle, normally, of evergreen branches, traditionally symbolizing the eternity of God. One candle is lit each Sunday for Advent, with the rose candle being lit on the third Sunday, which is Guadete Sunday, and Guadete means rejoice in Latin. And on Rejoice Sunday, on Guadete Sunday, in our family, we often will decorate our Christmas tree that Sunday or that weekend that Guadete Sunday happens. You can get a simple wreath form like one of these that is designed for placing candles inside and you can get the four candles that you would need, the rose and three purple candles for your wreath. Then you can also add greenery to this wreath. It can be artificial, it can be live, and what you would need to do is you would wrap that greenery around and you will use floral um, wire to attach it, and then you can add extra decorations. This is a fun activity for a family to do together one evening prior to Advent starting, so then you have your very own Advent wreath in your home. Another way, if you don't have an advent wreath form, you can make paper candles and you can add paper flames each week to the tops of those candles. You can also buy pillar candles in the appropriate colors. So that would be three in purple, one in pink, and you can set them in a circle and you can light those every week. There are multiple ways online for you to adapt the Advent wreath in your home, and it's an awesome tradition to share with your children. In our house, what we do is every Sunday, starting with the first Sunday of Advent, we light that candle whatever week it is on. So for the first week, we would light one candle for the first week of Advent, and we eat by that candlelight and only that candlelight for dinner every single night that week and then the following week we add two candles and the week after that we have three and then the last week we have four and it's a great visual representation for us all to see the light of Christ coming into the world. It's amazing tradition and my family and my children absolutely love that tradition of eating by the candle light of the advent wreath every Advent. It's one of our favorite things to do in our family. Another way you can celebrate Advent is you can display a nativity scene in your home. This is a great, great way to remind everyone in your family of the true meaning of Christmas. When you set it up, don't put out baby Jesus. Save that until Christmas Eve or Christmas morning. Another great tradition that a lot of families do is make a Jesse tree which is a tree decorated with the ornaments based on the symbols of the New Testament events preparing for the coming of Christ. Now remember, we've talked a little bit about the fact that the Old Testament 
we see all those prophets and people that anticipated the coming of Christ. And that's what the Jesse tree tells us. It tells us that story. There's Bible verses for each ornament and representation. Now, feel free to stop by my office and pick up a copy of a Jesse tree packet that you can grab and do with your family. I'd recommend possibly cutting them out and then laminating them so they'll last a little bit longer, but this is a great resource that we have available for our parish families. RE families, our religious education families, you will receive these before Advent begins. This is a great thing to do as a family. There are also multiple online resources available that you can use for the Jesse tree if you want something a little bit more permanent, a little bit nicer, there's felt ones you can buy on Etsy. There's amazing resources out there for a dress Jesse tree. We have one that um, one of the Catholic companies sells, and it's the Magnet Jesse tree. And it looks like this, and then you have all the little symbols, and there's a paper that tells us which symbol you need to put up when on which day. And you can read the Bible verses that go along. And this is another great resource that's simple, especially for small kids to participate in. I do have a few of these available for $5, not very many, but I do have some of these still available from last year. Um, another thing you can get is you can get a paper advent calendar that you would open the little windows each day and read a Bible verse that goes along and you just get to the kids really enjoy opening the little windows seeing the pictures seeing what's inside there reading the Bible verse and it's a way of anticipating the coming of Christ finally my absolute two favorite books for Advent, and I think I'm making this video in enough time that you can still order these video or order these books online. We get these from these are from Ag Ignatius Press and Magnificat. They come together. They they work together on this particular project, and these are amazing. There we have 24 Christmas stories for little ones, and we have 24 Christmas stories to welcome Jesus. These are perfect for December. Um, 24 right up to Christmas Day and they're amazing stories that really help you live out your faith your Catholic faith with the help of these books they're amazing and I highly recommend them and if you can get them before December 1st you'll win um, I hope you have a fabulous Advent season um, Advent's my favorite favorite liturgical season and if you have any questions feel free to email me I have loads of resources in my office and I love Advent and I can't wait to have Advent night with all of you again in 2021.